Hi everybody, this is Greg Harding from Greg Harding Photography and uh, we're here today just to look at uh, a couple of different ways of changing the perspective or doing perspective control on files and today you can see we've got a photo here that I took a little while back now um, of somewhere at Media City, the Salford University building uh, with a tram going past it. Um, it was shot with a wide angle lens, uh, it was at 28mm, you can see there, and because of the size of the building you, you get these converging verticals um, and with wide angle lenses, and of course you can go and correct them, um, which is what we're going to look, look at now, but this is the sort of first video um, that I'm looking at, uh, looking at ways of not using Photoshop, um, so we're looking at Lightroom initially, as to how we can control perspective and whether or not it's any good. Um, and I know in the past I would normally sort of jump straight into Photoshop and um, you know do a perspective control uh, crop and then um, and then use it from there. But there are other things around at the moment. And I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on uh, another product I found uh, that you can use, and it's a nice standalone and it's very cheap, cheaper than Photoshop for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, and see what the limitations are and see what the, res the end result is. So as you can see, um, I've done some amendments to this file already. Um, and the controls you get in, Photosh in uh, Lyrum 5 um, with the lens corrections, you can see I'll show you them all without them turned on. So there we are, that's, that's uh, as they are as standard. And you can turn them on, and it will automatically recognise the um, the lens, the camera I was using, and the lens I was using, and the configuration. It has a profile for it that it does a best match for. Um, and the nice thing about uh, Lightroom Five is that they've built in some newer um, uh, adjustments for this type of work, architectural work, and. Uh, at the moment it's turned off, but um, we want to correct the, the vertical uh, conversion. So we're going to type correct vertical, we're going to press that button. And you can see straight away it's done a pretty good job. Um, you can see the clipping on the sides here. That's from, you know, obviously from where the, the lens uh, hasn't captured the data. But you would go in um, and just do a quick crop and that would actually do a pretty neat job for you, I think. So, you know, do you actually need Photoshop? Probably not. You can see all the the, um, the verticals are very straight, um, and the building's looking pretty good. So that's one way um, of correcting converging verticals, just using um, a non-destructive um, software program such as Lyrum 5. Join us on the next one uh, when we will look at another way and not Photoshop. All right. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll speak to you soon.